Hey, what's up guys? Stefan here from projectlifemastery.com and today I'm going to share with you guys the three biggest and most profitable online business niches out there that exist on the internet that you can build your online business in. And this is really the first step guys to building an online business. You first need to identify what's the niche or the market that you're going to build your online business in. Because any business out there that exists online, I don't care what it is, I don't care if it's selling products on Amazon or publishing books or affiliate marketing, info products, software, apps, drop shipping, anything, they all exist within a certain niche or market. Okay, there's a niche, there's a market, there's a demographic of people that have goals, they have desires, they have needs that are waiting to be met. They have problems that it's our job, your role as the entrepreneur to help solve their problems at a profit by creating a quality product, a service that can either meet their goals or meet their needs or help them solve and overcome a problem. If you can do that successfully in business, you will be rewarded for that financially. Okay, It's as simple as that. It's the easiest equation in the world. You only get rewarded for the value that you provide. And obviously, you got to do the research. You've got to identify what are the niches, what are the markets. What are the ones out there and the problems within them that it's your job to create that quality product or service? If you can do that successfully, again, guys, I promise you will be rewarded financially for that. So there's millions of different niches and markets that exist out there on the internet. And I believe that there's a niche for all of us. Okay, for each and every one of us that are watching this video right now, there's a little niche out there on the internet that exists just for you that aligns with your interests, your passions, and your unique gifts that you can offer and provide to the world in some way. Now, some of these niches are more profitable than others. Some of them are more competitive than others. Uh, some of them have more potential than others. And that's where it comes down to really doing the research, but whatever niche and market that you decide, you gotta go deep with, you gotta master. You can't be at the surface and you can't dabble with it. You gotta cultivate the skills and really go deep with that and, create, and, and build and create your business around that. Now, if you have any doubts about scarcity and fear, ah, oh, maybe there's not anything out there, there's not enough opportunity, give yourself a shake, man. Go to, go to any bookstore, any library, and you know, go to Amazon.com, walk around there. There's millions of books being sold and millions of different niches and categories and genres that exist. If you go to Amazon, there's millions of products out there being sold and all these niches and markets and categories out there. And there's so many that are out there that, you know, they might already be products or services in, but again, it's our job, our role as an entrepreneur to find a way to, to do a better job. You know, just because there's all these other products out there that exist, an entrepreneur is something that can go into that market and use their creativity, their intelligence, their desire to help and serve to create something that might be better that, than any other product out there or to create, create something that maybe a new solution or innovate something that can better help the market in some way. So there's always a need for that. There's, there's a more of a need than ever for entrepreneurs and people out there that can do that. And there's all these different niches out there that, that exist, but I want to share with you guys the three biggest ones, the three most profitable ones. These are ones that have been around for forever since the beginning of time and will always be around. Um, because it's just based on human nature or human biology, I guess you could say, our, our whole survival is based on it. Now, the three niches I'm going to share with you guys are more general, they're more broad, uh, but within these broad and general niches, there are sub-niches that exist. And oftentimes, that's where you want to start. You want to take something broad and go more sub-niche, really niche that down to something even more specific, a sp more specific market, problem, uh, something you're trying to serve. And then once you've done that, then you can branch off and go more broad from there. So what are these three big niches? The first one is health. Health. Okay. Human beings, they want to improve their health in some way, shape, or form. And like I said, that's very general. It's very broad. But if you break that down, there's thousands of little sub-niches that exist within that health niche. Health is just the umbrella, I guess you could say. I mean, how big is the market out there that people want to lose weight? That fits within the health niche, right? But within that health niche, there's a weight loss niche, which is very specific. You could even break that down even further to something even more specific than that, which might be a certain diet, like the ketogenic diet or the paleo diet 
or you know, maybe uh, the vegan diet, or maybe it's gaining muscle mass, or maybe it's increasing your energy, or maybe it's the raw food diet, or maybe it's a certain cleanse, or maybe it's, um, it, you know, maybe it's martial arts, or it's CrossFit, or it's a certain, t- a certain type of a sport or, or, or physical activity, um, like running or uh, sprinting or swimming or whatever it might be. These all are, are little sub-niches that fit within that niche of health. You know, how to get rid of certain conditions that you might have. Maybe it's binge eating disorder, or maybe it's acne, or maybe it's eczema, or maybe it's, you know, something that uh, can fit within that category. But the reason why health is so valuable, such a big niche in market, is because there's a high level of urgency there. There's a high level of pressure that people are willing to always try to find the answers and the solutions for problems that they're dealing with with their health. You know, if you're overweight and you're obese, that's an ur- there's a level of urgency and pain there that people deal with that they're willing to spend money on, on potential solutions and products that can help them. You know, that's why the supplement industry is so big. That's why, uh, you know, people join weight loss programs and gyms and all these different things so that they can better optimize and improve their health. You know, if not that, then maybe even improving their appearance in some way, right? How they look and how they feel. There's always going to be a level of urgency there, always going to be a level of pain that people are going to be willing to find products and solutions and services that can, that can help them and serve them in that way, in that niche. So there's so much potential there that if you decide, hey, you know what, I want to be in the health niche and you break it down into what's within that, that you want to build your business in, like I said, you can go more broad from there. You can branch out. Okay, But that's by far one of the biggest ones out there that you're going to find uh, that has one of the biggest potentials that you can build your online business in. The second one is wealth. Wealth. Money. How to make more of it. How to save money. How to get out of debt. Uh, how to maybe invest to create more money. Again, there's all these different sub-niches that exist within this. Uh, it could be you know, maybe learning real estate or learning cryptocurrency or learning stock investing or options trading. It could be business, you know, how to start a business, how to build an online business, how to sell on Amazon or, uh, you know, all these different things that will exist within that because money is such a big part of our society. You know, everybody needs money in order to survive and live. And especially in the Western world, the Western civilization, money is something that human beings value a lot. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are suffering, a lot of people that don't have you know, financial abundance. And so there's, again, a high level of urgency and pain and pressure that people are willing to spend money or time or whatever it might be to find solutions to that problem. It could be, you know, how to better, you know, how to be able to get a job, right? And how to be able to, um, you know, find a great job or a great career for you, you know, because as human beings, you know, since we're in school, the whole school system is designed to help us get an education so that we can potentially get a great paying job, so that we can make a certain amount of money. So that's something that in society, it's just been conditioned. It's been ingrained. And there's, again, so many different sub-niches that exist within that as well, but that will always be one of the biggest markets out there that anybody could build their business in. And the third and last biggest one is relationships. Relationships. This is something that biologically is built into us. We all have the urge, the desire to procreate. Um, I mean, if you're a man, maybe it's learning how to meet women or learning how to meet other men if you're gay or if you're a woman, meeting other men or meeting other women if you're, if you're a lesbian. So that is a huge market because every human being out there has that urge, has that desire. I mean, I remember when I was in high school in my early 20s, I was heavily involved in that niche. You know, heavily, I just, for me at that stage of my life, I, I, all, I didn't care about money or any, really even health or anything else. It was all so that I can meet a girl, right? So I got very much involved in that niche. I bought courses and products and resources. In fact, you know, as a lot of people say that even the first two, health and wealth, really people want to look good and they want to make money so that they can attract the opposite sex. It all kind of comes down to that biological desire that we have to procreate um, with the opposite sex. So that's something that, again, as human beings, is always going to be built into us. But again, there's all these sub-niches that fit within that. How to meet the opposite sex, 
It could be, you know, even how to, um, you know, find the right partner, how to deal with a divorce. Um, you know, even there's uh, some niches of like how to meet someone. It could be meeting someone online versus meeting someone on Tinder versus meeting someone at a nightclub or a bar or on the street. Whatever it might be, there, there's all these different niches and markets that exist within that one as well. So with that said, the three biggest ones, health, wealth, and relationships. Okay, there's other niches and markets that exist without that, with, you know, uh, outside of that, obviously. You know, I mean, if you wanted to pursue gardening, you could do that. If you wanted to sell you know, the technology niche, great. But health, wealth, and relationships are the biggest ones out there that exist on the internet. And it's been around forever, but will always be around just in business and, and uh, opportunities to build a business and serve people with because, again, these are all biological things that we all crave in our lives. And if you can identify what is the right one for you, what's the one that aligns with your interests, your passion, what's the one that you want to go deep with? Because really to succeed in your business as well, it's going to require you to go deep in that niche. Identify the niche, go deep with it, become the expert, become the master, become the kind of person that understands that market and the people within it. You know, for me, I built my businesses in, in all these different niches because I was first involved in these niches myself as a student, someone that was learning and desperate and trying to, you know, buy and invest in these things and, you know, trying to be the best that I could be. That's why I love life mastery. I've invested so much into my health and learning it and mastering it, so much into my relationships and learning and mastering that, and then so much into my wealth and educating and learning and building my businesses that once you go deep with it first as a student and you gain the skills and you get certain results, that then gives you a higher level of credibility and ability to be able to serve others in that niche or that market. You know, I know for myself when I was 17 years old, I was shy, I was insecure, I couldn't talk to anybody, I was so terrified, I was so afraid of approaching the opposite sex. And I, I decided to go deep with that and I decided, you know, I wanted to improve this area of my life for me. I decided, you know, I'm going to read books. I'm going to learn online. I'm going to buy the courses, the programs. I'm going to hire mentors and coaches. I'm going to go to seminars. And I'm going to force myself and push myself to go out there to meet women. And I was terrified. I had so much anxiety. But I forced myself to do it again and again and again. And I taught myself how to approach the opposite sex and how to build a conversation and how to build attraction and build rapport and a connection. And, and, and you know, I was able to transform myself, my confidence, my social skills. That once I had a certain level of mastery and results from that, I was then able to teach and help other people. One of my first businesses was that. It was a business called Lifestyle Transformations. I put on events and seminars and then eventually sold ebooks to help men solve the problems that I faced. And I was able to build that to a business in that niche because I went first. And I think that's an important thing. And that's why you got to identify that niche you want to be in and, and, and you be involved in it. Have an interest in it. Learn as much as you can about it. But also learn about the people that are in that niche as well. Because those are the people that you're going to serve. You know, I had a friend of mine that once said, whatever niche or market you want to be in, go to the bookstore, go to the library, get all the magazines on that niche. If you want to be in the car niche, you should be subscribing to all the magazines out there, all the YouTube channels, and just learn as much as you can to understand that market the best way that you can so that you can meet them the best way that you can. You can meet their needs the best way. So with whatever niche and market out there, go deep with it. That's my advice. Uh, identify which one it is for you. And you know what? It can change. You know, for me, my niches and markets have changed throughout the years as well. Um, but identify one, get started with it, learn as much as you can, become the master, and then build your business around that. And there's so many ways you can do that, guys. You can create content online. You can uh, publish books on Amazon in that you know niche or market. You can you know sell products on Amazon, physical products. Excuse me. Uh, you can create courses or membership websites. You can create software and apps. Those are again just the monetization methods. But ideally, is to identify a market or a niche that has potential for multiple streams of, of income, and have that vision, that long-term vision of what you want to create in that niche. You know, I've got my long-term vision of Project Life Mastery and you know, each of the niches that I'm a part of that I want to be able to serve the world and help people, but it's a never-ending journey for myself to master it, 
to learn as much as I can and be involved in it. And then I'll slowly start to build out different products and services in all these different niches that I have a passion for that I feel that I have certain gifts or different messages that I can um, be able to provide and help the world with. So those are the three biggest niches out there, guys. Um, de decide on the niche that you want to build your business in, whether you've already kind of gotten started in your business or you're brand new. Okay, pick something. And you know, even if you don't start anything yet, at least start now learning as much as you can. Learn as much as you can about that niche, about building a business, different opportunities that exist within that niche. Look to see how other people out there on the internet in those niches are making money from it and how they're serving people so that you can learn from them as well and say, hey, you know what? These are my role models. These are the people that are doing what I want to be doing in this market. And I might not be there yet, but you know what? I'm going to learn from them. I'm going to follow in their footsteps. They've already paved the way, right? I'm just going to learn and see what they're doing, get ideas from that. And, and then, you know what, one day when I'm ready to start, I can start building my own business in that niche in that market as well and put my own unique angle, my own unique message, my own unique solutions and products and services that can help serve that niche and market. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this topic. Uh, if you guys did, hit the thumbs up button here on YouTube. Of course, subscribe for more videos. If you're not getting notified of my videos, I'd recommend that you guys, uh, underneath this video, when you hit subscribe, there's a little bell there. Hit that bell and you can change your notification preferences to make sure that you guys get the latest videos that I have available for you guys. And I also want to offer you guys too, if you want more from me and you're kind of stuck and you want to identify what's the right business for me, then take my online business quiz. I created a quiz that just takes 30 seconds. You answer a few different questions and it'll help identify for you based on your responses the best online business for you that you should pursue whether that's selling on Amazon, publishing books, maybe that's info products, affiliate marketing, whatever it might be. There's many different businesses out there and it can be kind of a little bit tough to find out, hey, what is the best one for me to pursue? So take the quiz. If you go to projectlifemastery.com forward slash quiz, I'll have a link below in the description, but projectlifemastery.com forward slash quiz. Head on over there, take the quiz, and hopefully it can help, help you guys identify the right business for you and we'll provide a lot of different resources that can help you guys get started. So thank you guys again. Commit to mastery. Talk to you soon.